Shall we be off then? All right, everyone. Uh, it's good to see you again. Welcome back to the uh, crazy uh, solo level one run here. Uh, as you can see, we're still level one, and uh, we are going to be running uh, Eos as uh, we pick this up after after the uh, fight with Nicola. Uh, as we go back to home base, we can pick this up. Uh, also, uh, we will be running the prayer shawl or the medicine shawl. I picked up a new one, and we upgraded it to level six, as uh, this will be apparent why we are going for. Uh, this one, as we go through the level here, we will be uh, pick, uh, paired up again with light damage, as that is our highest uh, value that we have access to for uh, damage, uh, as well as the gifts that we have active on us. Uh, but also the reason is that we have the highest fire resistance uh, for running through the City of the Falling Flame here. And we also picked up uh, Flame Protection from uh, Dark Knight, and we mastered that with our MJ212s that we had, as that will be uh, extremely important for us to go through uh, here. And uh, everything through here will simply be, whoops, uh, uh, making sure that we have access to backstabs, and uh, we will, um, you know, actually be uh, in a pretty bad way here. Uh, but as you see, uh, we don't take um, a, a huge amount of damage uh, from these fellas, but we definitely do take uh, quite a bit of damage. Uh, but as you see, uh, we have uh, now, as we are having fire protection, flame protection, we're at 91 resistance, uh, so we're doing much better um, than uh, we otherwise would. Now, uh, as you see there, we uh, take uh, pretty considerable damage, but uh, it shouldn't be anything... Um, you know, too extreme that we uh, wouldn't be able to handle otherwise. Uh, so as we come up here, we'll go for this, and we'll go for ice, and we'll go for more damage, and we'll go ahead and heal. Now we're going to be uh, pretty liberal with our heals through here, as uh, we will be um, not having a whole lot of access oops, to uh, a whole lot of things, uh, but uh, we will give it our best. I can't believe uh, I missed that guy. I don't know how I missed him. So let's go ahead and heal. Okay, and we'll hit him with a spike. Now you see our light damage is very, very high uh, as compared to where it has been. Uh, so it's definitely worth it to um, make sure that we uh, keep those uh, going, uh, keep the light damage going wherever possible. But as you see, uh, we are uh, pretty weak to uh, most things. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a pretty hard time uh, adventuring through here, but uh, nothing that we won't be able to handle. Now, we do need uh, Scothic, and uh, another important item for the uh, final run is uh, that we farm the uh, Black Soldier in front of the uh, door coming into the City of Falling Flame, and uh, we picked up a Black Greatsword uh, on our way there, as that is uh, very, very important that we have that for the run. Okay, and uh, so now we can go ahead and head across here. And the best thing to do, just ignore the monkeys, as they uh, do not offer us anything uh, exceptional here. Uh, so we will be needing to uh, restore Scothic, and we will be needing to um, make sure that we uh, get uh, access to Time Crunch, as that is uh, pretty vital for uh, later on. But uh, as of right now, it's uh, it's kind of irrelevant. But uh, we will we will definitely be needing to pick that up. But uh, as seeing that uh, we don't have um, as seeing that we don't have access to uh, any uh, other uh, really good uh, items, uh, we will be uh, kind. Of, uh, sorry, as we as we uh, have access to the uh, end of the game already. Uh, it won't uh, do anything uh, bad for us to just uh, pick up um, another cutscene there. Okay. And we'll go ahead and poke these guys down. Now, uh, for the successor of the claw, we will want to be doing Ice Crush. But uh, as we have no access to any of that, uh, we will be in a pretty bad way there uh, for having access to um, Ice Crush. So we will be going for something like Ice Pierce um, uh, or Ice Slash. Okay, now uh, this is important that we come over here as we have access to the Noble Silver finally. So if uh, we look at the Noble Silver compared to what we have now, 
uh, it's a lot less uh, fire resistance, but it's a whole lot more uh, uh, light damage and a whole lot less uh, defenses, but more crush. Uh, so we're not going to use the Noble Silver through here as it is Slash, and we want to be doing Pierce, uh, and we don't want uh, any part of that guy, but uh, we have to kind of go through here. So we'll do this, and Night Stalker. Oh, he saw us. Okay. And uh, we'll get a plunge on him. Oops, and we're dead. Uh, so this is why you don't uh, challenge this fella, as he is a uh, one-shot kill, and uh, he's extremely problematic. But now that our haze is down there, we have to go down there. <sighs> Very unfortunate. Uh, but at least we got the uh, activation factor, and uh, we can go ahead and uh, sneak our way through here, for the most part, uh, until this fella sees us. But uh, running Eos will allow us to have uh, really good damage on our um, on our uh, on our uh, barrage gifts there, as well as uh, having uh, really good access to um, uh, fairly light mobility here. I mean, we are still normal, uh, and we don't get to be quick until uh, kind of later on. But uh, but it's it's good enough for now. So for this area, we're just gonna uh, run past these fellas as we don't want any part of this. Good. And they won't uh, be able to follow us here uh, for much longer, as as soon as we uh, get over here, and we head up this ladder, uh, we are out of uh, danger again. So that's very, very good. Okay. Now we will have to go get our haze for sure, as uh, we cannot leave that behind as uh, most of the gifts that we're getting into now are, are very, 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 very expensive. Oops, I'm trying to drink water here. It's not working. There we go. I thought I was going to get uh, smacked in the face by this fella. Good. Okay. Alright, so we're, we're good here, and we can make it through. Okay, good. Alright, now let's uh, run through here, as we don't need to... Uh, really any part of these guys uh, and flame protection is almost over no it's, i don't think they uh, will follow me yeah they shouldn't follow me okay so now that we're here let's go for poison stagger flame protection ice and more damage and we'll whoops we'll go for a uh, flame protection of uh, uh, fire tonic there we go and he's gonna uh, do this. There we go. And let's go for a backstab if we can. There we go. And as you see, uh, he does uh, take poison. So let's see how we do here. And uh, one more. Okay. Okay. And one more. There we go. Okay, so he is a uh, mapping of this area. But uh, it's more important that we just kill him to make sure that we stay alive uh, because we also need to go for all of the uh, vestiges and this is really really important that we uh, pick pick all of them up okay so we'll head on down this way mm -hmm. so we can have access to the uh, ladder on the run back uh, should we die but you can see the fireproof tonics uh, stick around for a pretty long time so it's very nice okay let's head on down this way uh, so the reason we will need uh, Time Crunch and the Black Great Sword is uh, the Virginborn is extremely weak to the uh, damaging effects of the charge attack, and since we have Fion uh, available to us and we have a whole bunch of uh, items there and everything, uh, we will definitely be picking those up. Okay, so let's drop down here and pick up Scuff XC. We'll go for uh, Night Stalker, Flame Protection. Okay. And we'll go for a backstab. And since we still have seven, uh, seven um, uh, heals available to us, we can afford to uh, just go through a little bit of this here with this guy. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay. Now uh, our heals are very effective now, as they uh, were not as effective in the past. Let's kill this guy quickly, because we don't have time to mess around with him. And then we head around this way. Now remember, these guys are weak to uh, lightning or blood slash, uh, which is not what we are 
currently running, but uh, it's okay nonetheless. We'll go for, for this fella. But as you see, our uh, barrage gifts and our light gifts uh, definitely allow us uh, very, very good damage. Yep. Okay. And let's get a backstab if we can. Very good. Okay. So, uh, again, it's important if you're going to get all of the uh, uh, Scothic vestiges and such, uh, it's important that you run the game uh, like this in order to uh, pick all of them up. And this guy, I guess, is just going to let us kill him for no reason, which I'm, I'm completely fine with that. Okay, very good, because here we have monkeys. Okay, this monkey needs to die, and I have no stamina. There we go. Okay, and a vestige. And we'll pick up his uh, lost shard. Now there's a monkey there, so we'll hit him in the back. We'll see what he's going to do. Okay, good. Uh, don't want any part of the monkeys. And get flame protection going. And uh, we don't need to map this missile, but uh, just to have it for uh, kind of completeness sake, uh, we'll, we'll do it. Okay, so we've got uh, four of the vestiges, I believe. Uh, is that is that right? Uh, where's Scothic? Um, let's see, where is Scothic? Scothic, hello, hello, hello. Oh, here we go. A, C, D. Uh, okay, so we have two more that we need to get. Uh, B and E. Uh, but uh, those are pretty easy to come by. And now another reason for running Ice Pierce through here is that uh, when we come up against the um, uh, Black Hunter later on for uh, Scothic B, uh, we definitely have the uh, all the tools available to us to make sure that we end him quickly. Okay, and now we come down here to continue on the uh, main path. And as we still have Flame Protection active, we will just uh, skip those guys and go for this uh, gunner here. Okay, I'll we'll poke him one more time in the face. Good. Okay, so the City of the Falling Flame uh, will probably be one episode, and then the fight with the kitty will be another episode, as uh, both of those are uh, pretty long and involved here, as we are, um, as we are, uh, you know, so low uh, on health reserves that uh, basically anything at this point kind of one-shots us and puts us down. But uh, we will be. Uh, we will be able to go through the kitty um, in a better way than we are here through the rest of the city uh, because we will have access to a scothic chrome so we will be putting a scothic chrome on at least one of our uh, um, at least one of our veils uh, so that way it gives us uh, very very good um, uh, fire resistance uh, when paired up here uh, with our with our um, options that we have Okay, so we'll go for poison on this guy, as that will help us uh, do 15% of his damage, or 15% of his health. Uh, but we want to go for backstab first, and uh, get some of that i back, so we can continue to poke him. And you can see there, our, um, our uh, um, ability to poke is uh, very good, and each of our pokes uh, stagger him, and uh, we will get him poisoned, and then he will continue to take damage. There we go. And because uh, we have a uh, have access to a, um, a uh, piercing damage attack uh, here in the uh, halberd, uh, we are able to uh, stagger him very easily. Okay, very good. And he's dead. Good. And he... he oh, we've got a Scothic Chrome. Very good. So let's go ahead and use a regen inducer as we have a bunch of these, and we pick one up right here. So no harm, no foul. Okay. And we're coming up to the next missile here, but uh, there's uh, nothing over here uh, that we need. There's that missile that we saw, and here's this uh, pathway over here. Over there is uh, the coffee beans. Uh, we don't need any coffee beans, uh, but we will definitely head over this way. We'll drop down here. We'll pick this up. Now uh, let's head back to uh, home base now. And uh, let's add uh, a Scothic Chrome 
as we picked up three, uh, we'll add a Scothic Chrome to our uh, Blood Veil. Now we won't be doing uh, extreme amounts of damage with our Blood Veil now, but uh, since we need to survive more than do damage, uh, especially versus the Kitty, uh, this is why, um, excuse me, or this is how you can uh, mitigate um, kind of a level one uh, setup and play through. Let's drink some water. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're back at home base. Hello, Rin. Help us out, please. Okay, so transform Which a blood veil. Now we'll do the uh, we'll do the black one as it's uh, very cool looking. Uh, so there you see it brings up our fire resistance to plus fifty. So we will be at ninety six. Uh, 96 fire resistance who cares about everything else uh yeah we'll lose a little bit of damage and everything else but uh the most important thing is that we are um becoming uh closer to invincible on fire damage as uh as this is just a uh a, a very very problematic uh area to say the least so that raises us 50 so if you get over i believe it's 160 you become uh completely invulnerable to um uh, to any kind of fire damage, so we will be at 96 plus the 45 from flame, pr flame, flame protection, which is uh, uh, 141, and then uh, we will have 20 plus 20 from a fireproof tonic, so we will hopefully be uh, ex like exactly um, invincible. Uh, so uh, it, that's why uh, we're going for what we're going for, and we only have one, one fireproof tonic left, uh, which we will use uh, during the kitty fight. Okay, so you'll see here, if we use flame protection, uh, we are at 141. Okay, go for this, and uh, we'll go for ice damage on our weapon, as we don't really need to do poison. Okay, now uh, see there, we uh, don't take a, a lot of damage here. So uh, we can uh, finally do... Uh, uh, some more damage and at the same time we can uh, stay alive uh, much better there we go okay and uh, as we run over the flames uh, we don't take any uh, damage to the flames now uh, so this is very important that uh, this setup kind of happens in this order in this way and you save your uh, mj 212 for the uh, uh, flame protection uh, from Dark Knight as you get that uh, directly before this area, so it's it's really really important And we'll just poke the monkey into oblivion here There we go, and this is also important for the uh, for the uh, flame matronax and it's uh, I mean it's just uh, very very important overall how uh, how you approach the game uh, for um, For this area specifically, okay, so as we uh, head on into this guy uh, we need uh, blood, but we don't have blood. But uh, we can poke and do some pokes. And we can uh, continue to poke. And uh, he doesn't really uh, prove too much of a problem. Especially there, as you can see, we can do really good amounts of damage to him. And uh, we can put him down pretty quickly and easily. Okay, so let's get uh, flame protection going. And we'll go for the stagger on the uh, balls here. Okay, and we'll go for adrenaline. Just get that uh, that much, a uh, little bit extra damage. There we go. There we go. And the balls uh, go down pretty quickly. So let's go for ice damage. Okay. There we go. We'll uh, encourage this ball to come over here. There we go. And we'll encourage that ball to come over here. There we go. Okay, so we don't want to be messing around with those uh, uh, too much. Uh, we want to encourage them to come at us uh, one at a time. Uh, same thing here. Uh, we will encourage this fella to come over here. As uh, we definitely don't want to uh, have any kind of issues here with, uh, with these people. Uh, so if we take them on uh, one at a time, <coughs> excuse me, we will be, uh, we will be okay to... Uh, uh, force the fight into our favor. Oh, an old world material. How nice. Okay. So, uh, we're using, um, kind of all of our, uh, all of our abilities here to, uh, to bring to bear, uh, simply because we are outclassed and outmatched, uh, in every way, 
uh, in this area. Okay. Now, we don't want the gunner. Oh, there's the gunner. Okay, that's unfortunate that he's uh, he's over here. Okay. And we'll hit him again. And we'll go for a backstab. Then get some of that I-Core back. And there's the gunner. Okay, and we'll go for a couple backstabs on him. As he's uh, usually not a threat. But uh, there he hit us once, uh, which was unfortunate. But uh, we can take him down uh, very easily. So let's go ahead and heal up. And let's go for flame. And we'll go for uh, the kitty. And uh, we'll head on over this way first. As uh, this is uh, the next set of important areas. Oh, and we're starting to get titaniums. Which is very nice. And the ball's going to come over here. Uh, I was hoping without the monkey. But uh, we definitely have uh, monkey problems. And uh, I hate the monkey problems. Oh, there's another one. I forgot about him. Okay. So uh, we we definitely have the tools uh, that we that we need uh, in order to get through here. And there's Scothic E. So very, very good. And now that we're up here, uh, we will have access to kind of a, a high vantage point of what's going on below us at uh, these different areas. But uh, there, it doesn't really um, afford us... Uh, too much ability up here. Now over there is just a bunch of monkeys and the burned warhammer, uh, and we don't we don't need that. Uh, so uh, we will be heading on over this way uh, in order to uh, make ourselves uh, onto the uh, last uh, vestige uh, in the area. And uh, let's go for stagger, and and uh, that's good enough for now, I guess. And this area is very difficult as we have uh, several of these fellas. Uh, active at once. Okay. Oh, we missed. How did we miss? Okay. Um, we will go for a spike there. Whoops. Okay. Let's go for a launch. So I don't know why I uh, decided to uh, not uh, do that there. We'll uh, pick both of them up uh, as that will kill uh, the, the little guy, and we'll just poke this guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal. Now, uh, this is the fight of the century here, uh, here with this uh, next uh, hunter guy. Uh, so we're going to uh, buff up uh, for him, and we'll go for poison shirt. Uh, okay, and uh, I don't believe we have any camouflages. Yeah, we have no camouflages, so uh, we have to do it this way. So we'll encourage him to come down here. Okay. okay, we'll go for a backstab. Oh, I'm nervous about this because this guy can end you uh, very, very quickly. Okay, good. And that is the whole reason for uh, Ice Pierce, is for that, that fellow right there. Uh, so we can pick up the uh, last vestige. Okay, now we'll go for flame protection so we can uh, make, it over the, uh, make it over the flames here. Oops, oh, that's right, we did that. Okay, good. And now we come here, and we head on over this way. And we dodge this guy. And we can just go for a couple backstabs here to get um, a whole bunch of I-Core for uh, the next fight, as it is the... Uh, and there's more Scothic Chrome, so they're really, really encouraging you that, uh, hey, you, you want to go for... Um, you want to go for this, uh, this kind of setup. So we'll go for a Fireproof Tonic, and we'll go for a uh, Drain Activator. Okay. Now we don't want to uh, aggro the uh, balls on the other side of the uh, wall, but uh, we definitely want to um, make sure that we uh, backstab this fella a lot. Now as you see, uh, we don't do almost uh, any damage with our backstabs because um, he, uh, he's, uh, he's fire and uh, our veil is doing fire damage. So uh, that's why we need uh, all the backstabs and the... Um, the uh, uh, barrages here because that does a couple thousand but uh, if we continue on this journey here uh, we will definitely have a, a, uh, a good run against him as he uh, continues to uh, dance in a circle uh, we will be able to keep up with the damage necessary to uh, take him down okay so here uh, we're going to take the balls seriously Okay, good. There's one. 
And good, we got our fireproof tonic back. And we take uh, each ball uh, on their own. We don't want both of them, as that would uh, ruin us very, 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 very quickly. Okay, so now uh, we have access to the white vestment, which is a, uh, a hound's veil, and it is a light, uh, a light damage, and it is uh, a higher uh, fire value uh, resistance by five uh, than the uh, um, medicine shawl here. Oh, okay, he's going to fall down, that's fine. We don't really need to fight him, there's no reason to. Okay, and then as we come over here, uh, we can pick this up. But the, uh, but the problem with the, um, with the white vestment, as you see here, it puts us into slow uh, category no matter what. Now if we want to, we, we should be going for the uh, blanched greatsword uh, for the fight uh, with the kitty, as uh, she, will, um, she will allow us, uh, or we need to be doing uh, ice crush against her. Uh, and we won't be doing uh, damage, or we won't be um, uh, doing any kind of backstabs against her, so we'll, we'll go for these. Now we have four, uh, four um, fireproof tonics there, so we should be okay in the fight. And we need to uh, watch these so we can, um, so we can get Scothic and we can uh, get uh, access to time crunch, as that's uh, very important for the end of the game. Now we need a, a bunch of MJ212s uh, in order to uh, level that up uh, right away, or we have to use uh, Scothic in the next area to level that up and uh, use it anyways to, to master it. So uh, it's kind of important that uh, these things are done this way, uh, so that way we're, we're constantly prepping for um, each of the areas uh, in order to uh, figure out what we're going to be doing next. Okay. Now, uh, you don't have to use the uh, Blanche Greatsword as, um, as, uh, it, um, as it's the uh, pre-order thing, but you can use the Queenslayer Greatsword um, or uh, the Juggernaut Sledgehammer, as each of those are also, um, each of those are also uh, able to be used um, for, for this kind of a kill. Okay. Now, uh, as we get into uh, the, the fight here, we will most likely be switching to Fion, as uh, uh, Fion affords us, uh, um, as, as we saw last time, uh, we don't need stamina. So since we're going to be swinging a lot and running around a lot, uh, we definitely want to be using our, uh, our time to damage her, as opposed to uh, just standing around and waiting for stamina to recover. But uh, we won't have... Um, we won't have a whole lot of Icor uh, available to us, but we only need enough Icor to have um, flame protection going, as that is the most uh, the most important thing. Uh, and uh, and we will also have access to Venom Mark, so we can hopefully poison her, maybe uh, once or once or twice uh, for an extra 15 to 30 percent uh, damage. And as you see here, uh, we have no more vestiges, so. Uh, we, we did what we need to do, so if we switch back to Fion, uh, you'll see that uh, um, we have a little bit less on uh, fire and such, but we will still be at exactly um, uh, uh, 160 for uh, defense, and uh, because flame protection costs 4 and red shoes cost 10, uh, we have 14 i and that is exactly um, what we need here for, uh, for having um, you know, the, using the blan the Blanche Greatsword. Okay, so let's uh, get these going. And they do last a uh, very considerable amount of time. Okay, let's head on in. Now, 14 high core is not uh, not horrible as a base, but uh, when you uh, when you are running with friends and such, it's uh, it's pretty bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this, and let's get a uh, drain activator. Okay. Okay. And as you see here, uh, we definitely have uh, enough um, power to uh, go through this, okay? But uh, as we get uh, down on health here, we will uh, be healing, but as you see, we are uh, completely invincible, which is good. Let's go for uh, this and uh, this. Oops. Come on, sit still, kitty. Let's go for a, a barrage. 
Okay. Okay. So uh, as uh, as we have uh, been having horrible uh, luck up to this point in time, it's it's nice that we actually have a uh, chance to get through a successor fight uh, very easily. Okay. Okay. Now uh, Venom Mark is coming back. Okay, and our our flame protection, everything is doing well. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Okay, flame protection is almost over. Let's go for uh, this and this. Okay, and let's uh, go for a drain activator and another uh, fireproof tonic. As we need to be very careful now. Uh, okay, we'll wait for um, uh, flame protection to come back. There we go. Okay, and she's poisoned again. Okay. And I can't tell you how uh, difficult this fight would be um, without doing it this way. Um, but uh, as we have access to all of these things at this point in time, um, it is absolutely critical uh, if you want to get through here in a kind of a one way to go about it. So the City of the Falling Flame really pulls together a whole lot of your uh, confusion that you've had access to up to this point in time. So after a, a very, very grueling, punishing, um, problematic uh, Ashen Underground with the Gilded Hunter, we finally get access to something where we can f start to feel like uh, we're very powerful, what? even though we're not <laughs> at all. Okay, so now we have access to um, Scothic, uh, which is very, very good. So, uh, you know, I always, I always uh, am a fan of the fact that, uh, of the mindset that after the Ashen Underground and the Ashen Cavern, uh, you know, oh, that's dumb that you should uh, have access to, you know, invincibility versus this fight and stuff. And it's like, are you, are, you know, after what we just went through, um, after what we just went through with, uh, <laughs> with the um, Gilded Hunter, I think we deserve a, uh, a, uh, an easy one here to kind of uh, run through this. Okay, so we now have access to um, Scothic, and we have access to also uh, EOS number, or EOS B, which is EOS 3, which I, I don't know why they did that, which uh, what that will give us will be, uh, so let's look here, EOS, uh, that will give us Elemental Wall, which uh, we will absolutely need uh, for the, um, for the duo fight, and uh, when we get to the uh, chance, uh, we will be activating uh, Bridge to Glory as well. Uh, so we're, we're starting to uh, figure ourselves out here. And now we have access to Time Crunch. And as you see, that's 36,000 Haze. Uh, we, absolutely need, um, uh, we absolutely need to be able to uh, use this. Um, so as you see there, it costs 9 MJ310s, which are end game uh, items. So we will be using Scothic uh, most likely uh, from here on out, uh, since we will be needing to uh, level that up um, as fast as possible. Okay, I guess we can put it down here. Uh, we don't need fire buff. Uh, there's no reason for fire buff, uh, but we'll be heading back to our kind of typical setup here that we've kind of been running most of the game. Uh, okay, and uh, where are we headed next? The uh, Crown of Sand, I believe, um, which will be Ice Crush and uh, Ice Pierce. So again, we're heading back to uh, you know light damage here and uh, drain attacks and everything. So uh, picking up Frost uh, Ice Barrage, Frost Spike, and Frost Weapon, uh, it is it is very very critical that those are uh, picked up in your first playthrough as um, as they are very, very, very uh, good to the, for the player. We'll go for a Sanguine Roar, we'll keep this. Uh, we'll go for Night Stalker for sure. Um, we won't need Flame Protection. Um, I guess we'll go, I guess we can pick up Poison as uh, as we're doing a lot of Poison through here. I guess uh, instead of Frost Spike, we'll go for Dusk Edge. We'll put uh, Frost Spike up here and Sanguine Roar there, good. And uh, we'll, we'll go for Frost Weapon here and we'll put Time Crunch down here. Okay, this looks pretty good. Um, and uh, what are we, normal? Okay, that's very good. And uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and pick up uh, pick up the Crimson Longsword again. Okay, and uh, as we have Poison active, uh, yeah, we wanna definitely go for the, the ice damage here. 
Okay, so we used a couple of uh, items there. That was good. Uh, we finally got the idea of what, what those are, and now we are going to uh, be switching to icor coagulants. Okay, so let's teleport to um, where we headed. Um, the uh, uh, where where we headed? Oh, here we go. Isolus Falls. Sorry. <laughs> um, so this is uh, this is kind of how uh, you want to go about uh, heading through the city of the falling flame, and uh, uh, I think it's just uh, very very important that uh, you know this is kind of shown. Uh, and you guys kind of see um, what the uh, City of the Falling Flame could be and uh, why I, I consider it to be one of the e easiest places in the game uh, because here in level 1 we just completely steamrolled uh, basically the entire thing and uh, it didn't really uh, stand any kind of a chance uh, for us there. Okay. And as you see there, they're uh, strong to ice. Uh, so. We just have to uh, kind of uh, deal with this ball, okay? And we'll slash it down. Okay, so um, that's uh, that's the important thing about the uh, city of the falling flame is that um, uh, you definitely make sure that you uh, you pick up things that are uh, you know beneficial to you uh, to make sure that um, to make sure that uh, your time through there is not uh, exceptionally grueling and painful. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can actually do it in a, in a very easy and simple and straightforward kind of a manner. Uh, so, uh, now we will be, uh, using the, um, the, uh, uh, winter mantle again, uh, and we may switch, uh, we may switch, uh, the, um, we may, uh, use the, uh, prayer shawl as that has, uh, really good, um, damage and resistance and leak. Uh, but uh, as you see here, um, there's nothing really that would afford us um, a, a better option here. But uh, as we uh, want to have at least normal mobility, uh, we will probably most likely have to go back, and um, uh, we'll have to go back and uh, pick up a, uh, a Fion Chrome on uh, one of our one of our veils there. Okay, so as we head through here. Uh, we will be uh, heading into the Crown of Sand, and uh, we'll, we'll see what we do about veils and such. Um, I'll have to do some a, a little bit of testing and experimentation uh, before we head in there. But you definitely want to be doing uh, any kind of form of um, any kind of form of uh, ice damage through here. Now, uh, the two blood codes we have options for available ahead of us are Harmonia and um, uh, the Queen's Throat. Uh, either one is is okay. Um, there's nothing in in uh, either of them that are uh, exceptionally uh, useful over over another one. There used to be just ruins here. Yep. And uh, so, but uh, most likely uh, we will be going for Harmonia, as that uh, has access to a whole bunch of different things, and uh, we will be needing to uh, do as many kills as possible to get uh, time crunch going. Now she's weak to uh, ice slash, so we will probably be needing um, another crimson longsword or a sunset sword or something that would uh, have access to um, a slashing pattern, a continuous slashing pattern with slash damage, um, as uh, as we need to be doing uh, slash damage. Oh well, we could use the assassin sickle; that might be useful. But again, uh, we'll have to switch it up. Uh, for a different, uh, a different blood veil, as you can see here, uh, we could be, um, we could be uh, normal mobility with this. In fact, let's go do that right now. I think we have uh, two, um, two Fion chromes. Uh, since we are uh, kind of at the 40-minute mark, you can kind of see some of my process here of how I go about this. Uh, so if we have ice damage all over the place, um, we finally have access to now. Uh, we have the ability to go for, um, we have the ability to go for, uh, you know, putting, putting, uh, ice damage out onto, uh, onto the successors, uh, in a, in a very large way. Now, the, um, successor of the throat can be stunned, inhibited, she can be, uh, poisoned, um, um, slowed, she can, she, she has access to all of those, uh, kinds of damaging effects, uh, so it's important to, um, it's important to, uh, make sure those, 
are uh, utilized in a, in a big way. Okay, so we do have uh, another Fion Chrome, which is good, so we can put uh, uh, ice on there. So we, now we have access to 70 ice uh, on there. And, uh, uh, whoops, let's go ahead and transform, uh, let's see, yes, we want to transform this Blood Veil with ice. Okay, and uh, how about the white vestment? That would make us slow. Um, the Black Blood Liberator, uh, we could do this, but we don't have a lot of dark gifts, as uh, dark gifts kind of disappeared on us uh, early on there. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll uh, perform this, and we'll go ahead and upgrade uh, our weapon here a little bit, as we uh, have a lot of haze, so we can uh, go ahead and do upgrades, and uh, so on and so forth, uh, at, a, at a good rate here. Um, I think we'll save our... Uh, I think level 3 is, is good enough for now. Uh, and let's see what Coco has, uh, that which may or may not help us uh, in, in this Did area. Mm. I got it. Let's see. So, um, okay, she's got some camouflages. Let's buy a bunch of those. Um, we'll buy some sound suppressors. Those are very good to have. Um, we'll definitely need charge accelerators for sure later on. Um, and let's go for some uh, coagulants. Uh, and let's go for some ice cartridges. Okay, so you see here that uh, it's important to have access to uh, large, large amounts of, of haze, which is why we haven't been doing anything to level up. Uh, so if I was to play it again, I think this is how I would definitely go about it, um, uh, simply because of uh, the idea that um, it's, it's necessary and important to have more access to the items and the gifts uh, and the weapons and veils rather than uh, what your actual level is. I feel like the level uh, is only important once you get to uh, the, the second playthrough and you're going into New Game Plus and you can get monsters amount of levels uh, very quickly and very easily. Um, as you've uh, kind of learned uh, through your first playthrough of the game, you know, what are the uh, weaknesses and what uh, should we go about. Uh, doing in, in the different areas and such. Um, so I think that's really, really important. Okay, and then we are going to want... Uh, okay, so we're going to want access to this. Uh, coagulants. Um, we will want this, and we will want uh, this. Okay, so we'll we'll see here uh, what this does versus um, at least uh, this this fella over here and see how, uh, see how we go against him. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, that does uh, pretty good pretty good damage there, but it's nothing to uh, write home about. But since it is a bayonet, it continues to stagger him. Okay, and that's pretty good damage. There we go. So as you see, uh, we will definitely be able to um, take our time through here and have a good time. So uh, we'll pick up here in the Crown of Sand next time, and we'll see you all later.